Welcome to this showcase video of my new mod called Task Force Arrowhead Radio Scribbles. As the name implies, this mod is a supplement to GFR, which you will need to use this mod. The purpose of the mod is to give players a better way of recording and keeping track of the various radio channels they need during an, an operation. Let me demonstrate. When you open a radio interface, you will now have a list of radio channels and their currently programmed frequencies presented to you. Note that the interface is different on some radios, but the same elements are always present. Observe as I change the frequency of channel 1 and it is immediately updated to the original list. Aside from listing the frequencies for each channel, you will also have the option to manually write short notes about each channel on the interface. You do this by simply clicking on the space reserved for such writing. For example, let's name these channels for squads 1, 2 and 3. Your notes will be saved and will be presented the next time you open the interface. Backpack radios have the exact same mechanics and their own UI. Vehicle mounted radios have the same UI as backpack radios, but they are tracked separately. So for example, note when I write scribbles for the radio in this AMRAP, it will only be visible when using the radio of this vehicle. I will now switch to another vehicle. And we can see the scribbles that we saved are not, not visible here because this is a different vehicle. The same individuality applies to handheld and backpack radios as well. Scribbles are saved to each individual item. This can be very relevant in the multiplayer as I will, dis as I will discuss later in the showcase. The mod has several add-on options available found under GFR Scribbles category. The two most important ones are the general settings. The radio saving setting enables radio settings like program channels, frequencies and additional radio channels and the like to be saved and transmitted through Arsenal and Respawn. By default, GFR does not provide for this functionality. Let me demonstrate. I have now turned the option off and I have restarted the mission for the change to take effect. Note the channels 1, 2 and 3, which I have reprogrammed with these frequencies. And I will now go to the arsenal. Let's say that I'm going to load a previously saved loadout. This will change my radio item. And we can see that I have lost frequencies that I previously programmed. If the option of radio setting saving is turned on, then frequencies are saved when you enter the arsenal and they are restored to any new radio item you may receive after you exit it. The same setting also applies to response. 
So if the option is turned off, when you respawn, you will get assigned loadout by some means. And if it has a new unique radio item, then you will lose whatever settings you, you had. I will note that most armor communities that use TFR have systems in place to solve these same issues. If you'd prefer to use your own community's mod or script that handle radio settings saving, then I recommend you turn this option off, as having duplicate systems running at the same time can cause problems. Scribble saving, handled by the other general option, works exactly the same way, but for the written scribbles that you can add to the UI. So if the option is turned off, when you enter an arsenal and get a new radio, your scribbles will not be saved. Or if you die and respawn with a different radio, the scribbles you had before you died will not be transmitted to the new one. The radio model specific options allow you to disable the scribble interface for the selected radio types. Doing this reverts these radios back to the same interface they have in the base TFR mod. Notice that several of the radios, for example, A and PRC155, the RT1523T and MR3000 have multiple different variants that use the same UI. If you disable one of these options, then all the variants of this radio will revert back to the old UI. I will now talk about the multiplayer aspects of this mod. The mod can be run client-side by the player, if it is whitelisted on the server, of course. When the mod is being run client-side, all scribbles you save will always remain in your computer. So for example, even if someone else picks up a radio item, you have written scribbles too, they will not see them. However, if the mod is being run by the server, then all scribbles will be visible by two other players. So for example, if you take a radio from another player you've killed, you will see the scribbles they've written on it. And remember that by default TFR also tracks radio settings on an individual radio basis. So if you so you will also get the frequencies they were using. Same applies to backpack and vehicle radios as well. Having scribbles of other players visible is of course horrible from an operational security standpoint, considering the intended usage of this mod. So consider twice if you want to have this mod running on your server if you are planning to host competitive PvP games. Finally, I will show two features included in the mod for mission makers. If you are making mission in the editor while you have the mod loaded, you will be able to set the radio scribbles that the unit or group has via its properties, found under the TFR category. To set default scribbles for handheld radios, use the SR line and the LR for backpack, backpack radios. You can write them in plain text, but differentiate the different scribbles with the column. The scribbles will be in a descending order, so channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, and so forth and so forth. In TFR, radios can have a maximum of 8 channels but not all scribble interfaces added by my mod have slots for all eight. So bear that in mind. Writing more than eight scribbles here by accident does not cause any issues. Notice that if you use this method to set the scribbles via editor attribute, it does not create a missing dependency for the players. 
In someone plays a mission without the mod enabled, he just won't see the scribbles set for his character. And I will now demonstrate this. A supplemental method in addition to the editor attributes is using a function included in the mod ref underscore tfr underscore fnc underscore set default scribbles. This function can be used as a scripting command during any point of the game to set a player's current scribbles for his radio. Note that the radio needs to be run targeted on the player you wish to add the scribbles to. So remote execution of this function is recommended. The function will overwrite any existing scribbles, either for handheld or backpack radios, as determined by the first parameter. Should you wish to also change the radio settings like frequencies for the radios at the same time, you must use other functions found in the base CFR mod. Thank you for watching. My name is Reveli and links to the Mods Team Workshop page and the written documentation can be found in the video description below. Should you find any bugs with the mod, please report them to the Steam Workshop page.